Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the flexible payment layers and the rigid payment layers. The flexible payment have high number of layers while the rigid payment have less number of layers. The flexible payment is known as flexible because it is made up of flexible material. It is made up of soil and the asphalt or bituminous material that's why it shows flexible behavior while the load is coming on the layers while in case of the rigid payment it is known as the rigid because it is high flex rigidity due to the material used in the construction of such type of payment and this rigid payment is usually made with the concrete material and it has high stiffness high rigidity and high modulus of elasticity so it shows high brittleness behavior and in comparison to that of the flexible payment that's why it is known as the rigid payment because it shows more rigid behavior to that of the flexible payment now what are the different layers in the construction of flexible payment and the rigid payment so first we start from the flexible payment so in case of the flexible payment there is a natural subgrade at the bottom of this flexible payment there is a natural subgrade layer and there is no such natural subgrade layer in case of the rigid payment on top of the natural subgrade layer there is a compacted subgrade compacted subgrade layer and this layer has been compacted to a certain level in order to have certain degree of compaction while in case of the rigid payment we also have subgrade layer and this layer may be an existing layer depending on the condition of the site now on top of the compacted subgrade layer we provide sub base cores in case of the flexible payment sub base cores and also in the rigid payment there is a sub base course provided on the top of the subgrade layer sub base course and this layer sub base course and this sub base course also known as the frost protection layer also known as the frost protection layer because this layer is provided in order to resist the formation of the frost during the winter season so this is mostly used in order to resist the formation of the frost on top of the sub base course in case of the flexible payment we provide the base course while in case of the rigid payment we also have base course material in case of the rigid payment now the, these three layers are mostly same in both type of the payment while in case of the flexible payment on top of the base course we provide certain type of the coating known as the prime coat this type of coating is known as the prime coat and it is usually made up of bit bitumen material so we provide the prime coat on top of the base course in order to resist the penetration of the rainwater inside into the other layers so and then on the top of the base course we have another layer which is called as the binder course while in case of the base course we on top of the base course we provide concrete slab concrete slab and this concrete slab is a jointed slab jointed slab what it means it means that we provide two types of the two types of the joints there is transverse joint and the longitudinal joint and these joints are provided in the slab in order to resist the thermal stress is created due to the temperature variation in the slip now on top here in case of the flexible payment on top of the binder course we provide another type of the coating which is known as the take coat take coat and on top of the take coat we provide the top surface and this is known as the surface course and on top of the surface course we provide another type of coating which is known as the seal coat and this 
three types of the coats are used to prevent the penetration of the rainwater into the lower layers. So when the load acts on the top of the surface cores, the load will be transferred from to the surface cores and then to the binder cores and then to the base cores and then to the sub base and then to the compacted subgrade layer. So load transfer in this way from top to the bottom. Similarly, in this way, in the case of the concrete slab, the mostly the most load is taken by the concrete slab and it does not show the same transfer mechanism like the flexible payment, but it shows the mechanism of the flexion. So these were the different layers in the construction of the flexible payment and rigid payment. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.